Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I'm a part-time reseller located here in St. Louis, and every week I bring you two videos. Uh, one on Friday where I talk about everything that sold on eBay for the past week, <clears throat> and one on Mondays where I talk about everything that I found out there hunting around for new source uh, stuff to sell on eBay. And today's Monday, so I'm going to talk through everything that I found. <clears throat> it was an interesting week because I was out of town, and I didn't get to list as much as I usually do. You can see here I've only got 46 items listed, but the stuff that I listed is incredible. You can see I have a list value only on 46 items of $1,996. So that's an average list value of $43, uh, which is, is quite a bit, pretty exciting. Um, the reason I got so much good stuff is actually from one buy specifically. It's this direct buy that I got off of uh, Reddit. So I usually don't source a whole lot of stuff off of Reddit, but I follow our local St. Louis subreddit, and every once in a while people will post stuff on there. In this instance, a guy jumped on there and said, hey, I've got a video game collection that I'm trying to sell because I have a bill that came due, and so do you know where I could take it? Like, what kind of store? Uh, I just messaged the guy directly, said, hey, I'm a, I'm a collector, I'm a reseller, I'd be interested in what you have, and so we worked out a deal. He wanted $437 for all of this stuff that you see in this picture right here. I haven't counted all of it. I think there's about 110 individuals individual games. So I did the research, uh, and the way that I do the research on this stuff, I just create a spreadsheet, and in that spreadsheet, I list off all the items that are in the total lot. So in this case, I listed off all the games, and I very quickly went down and just a quick gut check on what I thought that they would sell for on eBay. Then I take 60% of that, because I make 60% on margins, and so it's not perfect, but I know I usually will make around 60% of total list value uh, on that. And so I got through and went, did the research, and it was clear that uh, at $437, this collection of video games was going to be very good. <clears throat> and it was. So I'm going to go through the top 10 things that I listed on eBay this week. And 9 out of 10 are from this video game buy. I still haven't listed everything. You can see I only listed 37 items or 36 items so far from the video game lot. So I still have about 80 or 90 things to list. Um, but <clears throat> let's dig in. Let's see the best stuff that I've gotten out of that lot so far. Uh, coming in at number 10 is Sonic Adventures for Sega Dreamcast. This is complete in box with the manual. It's in really good condition. All of this stuff was in really good condition. Uh, this one has not sold yet, but it's listed for 55 and I expect it to sell you know, within the next week. Number nine is the game Ape Escape for PlayStation 1. Never heard of this, never played it, but apparently it's a good one, $55. Usually when I'm outsourcing video games, if I see just like weird, quirky games that I've never heard of, that's typically a good sign that it may be worth some money. Uh, if you're seeing stuff that you are f is familiar to you, chances are it's probably not gonna be that good because they're a very popular game that was had many uh, prints of them made. It's not, a, it's not a perfect rule, but if you don't know a whole lot about video games like me, uh, and you just want to know enough, typically what should set off your, your red flags for a purchase, they're not red flags, green flags for a purchase, is if it's sort of just a quirky, weird one. It's not a perfect rule, but it works okay for me. Coming in at number, uh, let's see, this is number eight, would be Jet Grind Radio for Sega Dreamcast. Came out in 2000, never played this again. Again, just if you look at this, this is just a unique looking game. It's not like Madden 2009 or anything like that. It's not like a common Halo or Grand Theft Auto. It's just a weird, quirky game and it's vintage and it's in really good condition. So uh, chances are it's probably gonna be worth some money. And in this case, this one's worth about $60. Uh, next one on the list, uh, I've never heard of this one either. It's also a PlayStation game, um, Jam um Jammer Lammy. I think I'm saying that right. Leave it to Lammy there. Some sort of music-based game. Don't know, never played it. Uh, have no idea, but somebody's going to buy this for 60 bucks. but they haven't yet. Uh, next up, this is the only thing um, that I found this week that cracked the top 10 uh, highest value uh, that wasn't from this video game lot, and it's this American Girl doll. I got this at a flea market. I paid $15 for the doll, and it came with two like uh, bags, like um, like I guess purses would be the uh, best way to put it, but they're, the purses were also branded American Girl. So American Girl is a great brand. <clears throat> you can tell if it's American Girl by looking at the back of the neck. In fact, on most dolls, this is where they have their markings on the back of the neck under the hair. Uh, this sold quickly. Um, let's see, what, what did it take to sell? It sold at 60 bucks and yeah, it sold same day. So it didn't even take a day to sell. Uh, so keep an eye out for American Girl, of course. 
All right, next on the list, back to the video games, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles um, for Wii U. This one, yes, this one did sell at $70. Like, you know, to be honest, if I was outsourcing this at a thrift store or something, I would probably look it up, but this just doesn't look like a game that's gonna be worth 70 bucks, and I was very shocked. Um, so happy to get this. This one sold, let's see, uh, for $70, and it took three days to sell. So uh, quick sale on that. All right, next up to the top four, number four is Tekken Tag Tournament. Again, another Wii U. Like this one looks a little bit more interesting, I guess. Like I might may I may gravitate towards this one more so than the, the previous one, but I would never guess that it's an $80 game. Uh, pretty incredible, really. <clears throat> it's in great shape with the manual. This one looks like, um, let's see, yeah, it sold in one day. And I ended up uh, yeah, netting around $45 on that one. So that's a good one. Uh, this one I, I've heard of and I've played back in the day, Parappa the Rappa. Uh, I know that it's, uh, this one doesn't surprise me that it went for a hundred bucks. It was not complete. It had the manual, but did not have the poster. If it had the poster, even in used condition would have been worth two to $300, I think. As it stands though, without the poster, black label, it is worth a hundred dollars and it sold how quickly? Let's see. Yeah, it sold four days. So not the fastest, but still sold very quick. I'm happy with that for sure. All right, number two best find of the week out of this video game lot so far, Game and Wario for Wii U. Uh, pretty incredible. I listed this and it sold same day for $160. Uh, is not complete, did not have the manual, did have this insert, uh, but the game was in really good condition. And oh, man, this is crazy. Um, I, I don't know why this one is worth what it is. I guess not many of them were made. <clears throat> but uh, it's just incredible that a uh, you know, Wii U game from 2013, not even 10 years old, is going for $160. So keep an eye out for Game and Wario. All right, now to the number one find. This one has not sold yet, um, but it is an incredible video game find for sure. It's uh, two games, actually. I decided to lot them together. It's Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 uh, for Dreamcast. Both are complete. Um, and so I, I saw some comps, uh, they were actually, uh, they were auctions uh, for the lot of, of these two games that had gone for around the $350 mark. And, I, you know, again, these, I, I just, I don't know a whole lot about video games. I know some, I played them as a kid and I play them some now, but I just don't think that I would be super excited if I found these uh, with, without looking up. They're just not obvious, like, money makers to me. They're Sega Dreamcast, so I know they're old and vintage, so they're, I know they're going to be worth something. Uh, but to think that these two paired together are going to be worth $350 is just insane to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited that I found them in this video game lot. Again, I've, I've only listed uh, 36 out of about 110 or 120 games out of that, and I've already uh, sold uh, 13 of them, and I, I just picked this up last week, so it's not like I've been sitting on these for a while. I've already sold 13 of them, and I've already made uh, $505, so I've already made my money back and then some, and I've got, you know, 80 so games more to list. So expect to see more and more video games on this channel over the next few weeks as I get more and more listed and more and more sold. Uh, and on Friday, of course, here in a few days, I will produce another video that talks through everything that sold for this week. And we're having a pretty incredible week already. Lots of lots of sales. So I'm excited to show you all what we uh, get out the door. Until then, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you on Friday.